G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now we are here for round one at the MCG. It's the season opener. It is the grand final rematch. And judging by the traffic, it is going to be packed to the rafters. I'm meeting friend of the show, friend of the channel, Tim Diskin, in at the MCC, and then Roger's gonna join us shortly after that. I'm here with Roggy and Tim Disco Diskin. Absolute vibes here. It's, it's FIFA pitch, Rog. I think I've been to more D's games over the past 12 months than I have Carl. But uh, I'll be here again tomorrow night. But as for right now, they've just unfilled the flag and the atmosphere is electric. And the D's are about to run out. Disco, how are you feeling, mate? Absolutely electric. Loving the atmosphere. Come here they come. The reigning premiers. A long, long time since I saw these boys in the flesh. I reckon it might have been either the Port game when I went to Adelaide Oval or the game where they lost to the GWS. But then after that, we all went into lockdown. Yet to see the Premiership side in all their glory. So, fever pitch, very excited. We're about five minutes away from kickoff. You yeah, saw them a couple of weeks ago when they got absolutely pumped by the Maggies, did you not? We're just hearing that Jake Lever is out, Lockie Hunter is out, and Stefan Martin is out. Lockie Hunter. He was never playing, was he? No, he wasn't. I think Bebe just wanted to make Tom Morris look a little bit foolish, but now I think the egg is ultimately on Bebe. What's our tips, lads? I'm going to go to the Demons by 33. I'm going to go to the Demons by uh, 28, and Luke Beveridge to punch on with the media in the press conference. Disco? I reckon it's going to be a bit of a closer one. I reckon the D's by about 13. 13 points. We're all tipping the D's. Fever pitch scenes. Round one, MCG grand final rematch. Yeah. Come on, boys. marks and goals. The D's have the first two of the season. Really good start here. Jack Viney lining up for our third of the term. Yeah! Go D's! The D's will kick the first three and you just feel the mental scars. I have to be there for the dogs from last year. What would have been our last 20 odd goals? Today? It would be 20 of the last 21 goals. Yeah, so that, that has to be in the back of the head, doesn't it? Bowser's gotten a 50. And we'll line up for his first goal in AFL, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jakey Bowers! Quarter time here at the G, and the D's are 4 5 29 to the Dogs 2 2 14. Almost the perfect term until the last 30 seconds, where, well, the last two seconds, where Waitman got a free. It looked a little bit cheap. What are your thoughts, Disco? Uh, yeah, I'd agree that last one was a little bit on the cheap side, but you know, hit the hunger. Some of the first quarter. Joel Smith has been very good. He got a little lost in that last contest, so hopefully he can straighten up again and uh, we can continue with the momentum. But the dogs starting to get themselves back in it. Norton gets the dogs off to a flyer in the second term. Momentum has shifted a little bit here at the G. Come on, Dees. I went and got me past you at the end of the first quarter. Was there a little bit of a iffy decision at the end of the quarter? Ah, uh, yeah, Cody Waitman got a free kick. Or dropping a marker, right now. Pretty much, yeah, very confusing, but Norton got a softie as well, so frustrating. We can't get it on our terms. The dogs are in front. We stopped out of the middle, and Norton is lining up for another one. I had a feeling our inaccuracy early in the first term was going to come back to bite us, but not in the space of nine minutes. Norton setting the G alight. The Bulldogs are taking the fish. Bang, bang, bang. Feeling pretty deflated here. Yeah, flat scenes here in the... Uh, the J, what is it? 22 points. Yeah, not good. Not looking good. The Blink dogs. The dogs have said enough's enough. But this happened in the grand final last year, and we know what happened next. So. Yeah. So we'll we'll sit tight here, but this is a demolition job. Benny Brown to cull oh, some of the momentum. We're in desperate need of a snag here. Boy, did we need that one, Benny Brown. Oh, oh my goodness. What a lovely strike. One of these tracks. Oh, come on, D! Half time 
down here at the G and the D's have a bit of work to do. 6, 6, 42, 8, 3, 51. We're down by nine points. But it got out to about 20 halfway through the second. And there were some nervous moments. We need to really peg this lead back, if not get the advantage before the third term. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll back the boys in. Big second half coming up. Come on, D. This would be a great start to the third term. Benny Brown. They don't go the banana enough, they got the left foot snap. I feel like over the off season they've all been tuning into a bit of ball magnets and Caden McDonald's. They've studied the tapes, the C McDonald's, C Rogers, and uh, glad to see he's put it into practice. We might need to show Tommy how to do it. So. <laughs> a little bit quiet for it after this to put the D's back in front. Of yes. Come on, D's! Come on! A seesawing affair, Disco. You need to stop playing with my heartstrings, mate. Hey, this is putting me through the ringer, but. We're in front, we've got the advantage, and we've kicked the last four. This is not over. Shaki drops an intercept mark. Frida nails a goal, and that's five in a row for the Ds. And we have a seven point ball game. Swings and roundabouts here at the G. Norton to stop the run of Ds' goal. Oh! To stop the run of Ds' goals, he's kicked it straight to Petrarca. Three quarter time here at the G, and the Ds have a 15 point advantage after trailing by about 15 points at half time. Nine points, we're going back to nine points. It's almost gotten to a real grind. Like the D's come back, I think we kicked the last five or six, but it's been a real grind to get back in it. We've tightened up the defence. Um, it could be an all absolute rip snorter to finish. I think it might be, but I actually think that the D's will probably keep the lead and then maybe kick away with a couple more and end up winning by five goals. It'd be nice. It's a great game of footy, great standard, and the D's are up. We're going to the last quarter. Come on, boys. Astronaut lining up the doggy second of the term and to reduce it to under a goal. Maxi <laughs> launches one from downtown and gives us some respite. A captain sausage roll if you've ever seen one. The margin back out to 10. Harmsy! you like music festivals this year. Yeah! Home. Home, yeah? no, I won't say until the final siren no, sounds, but we've got control of the game, kicked the last couple, and Harmsy, he slots it. Cozzy! Cozzy! Icing on the cake from Cozzy Pickett. The D's are home in round one. win or loss per term. Really great performance, really great outing. And we've just sort of flexed our depth, I reckon, Disco. Salem, Lever, who am I missing? A couple of others that are out in the best 22, especially in the defense, are Petty, G. And they've got the job done in pretty convincing fashion. Ladies and gents, that is it for another game day vlog, match day vlog. We got the red and blue signs behind me. I've hung around the G a little bit longer to try and let the traffic die down. It was packed to the rafters in the car park that I use, so hopefully I've bitten off a little bit of time. Almost a complete performance, that one. That second term lapse, I don't even think it was a lapse. I just think the dogs just said, look, we're a contending side and we're not gonna let you dictate the terms all game. They flexed their muscle for a little bit, the dogs, and it was quite impressive. I felt like the umpiring was a little bit frustrating but the D's were good enough to get the job done regardless. The D's have got it done in round one. I couldn't be any more satisfied with that result. And now I'm off back home to g Detroit. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the videos. And I'll see you for some more content very, very shortly. Cheers.